better business brains. Ladies and gentlemen, today with me, I have Dr. Bryn Weingarten. Dr. Weingart, thank you so much for coming on the show. Thanks for having me, Julian. Happy to be here. Oh, the, the, the pleasure is all mine. I've been excited all day. My dopamine receptors are on fire. <laughs> the way that we think about things, um, our attitudes have an effect on our outcomes in life. Is that a fair thing to say? And if so, what is the science behind that? Oh, absolutely. I mean, you know, your attitudes, how you set your mind, how your mind is set are part and parcel with not just your psychology, but of course, with how in neuroscience, we talk about you uh, neurons that fire together, wire together. And so the more you practice a neural pathway, which in your, you know, according to your narrative could easily be a mindset or could be a philosophy or an attitude, the more those neural networks become reified and crystallized and lay down. And so they really, you literally become your thoughts. And it's the, uh, you know, it's one of the more liberating and, and, uh, I want to say scary facts that you know, neuroscientists have uncovered over the last sort of 25 years is that the thoughts you think you plastically put down neurons for and neural networks for, which therefore literally become you. And so we're very used to the, the notion, I think, that like, you know, you are the company you keep because you notice ways that you become like them. You are the food you eat. I mean, that makes sense to us on even just a physical level, right? That those macronutrients would become part of our physical makeup. But I mean, if you start to conceptualize philosophically, spiritually, theoretically, and then literally that you become your thoughts from a neuroscientific perspective, I think that is one of the more powerful comments you can make about, you know, mindset and attitude and holding positive psychology and all of those, you know, all of that. Yeah. yeah. And that's something that you can change, right? Like I, I've read a little bit of, of another great Canadian doctor, uh, Dr. Norman Deutsch, who talks about neuroplasticity. I mean, you can change how you think and perceive things, right? Absolutely. And, you know, Norman Doidge is a guy, I've done a book review for him. I mean, you know, great example of the mind that the brain that changes itself is the idea is, is that there's, there is a disconnect between mind and brain. They're not one and the same, but the fact is, is that the mind works on the brain and vice versa. And so, you know, if you're careful of the thoughts that you allow into your mind, you do change your brain accordingly. And if you're, you know, and if your brain has thoughts that it's surfacing into the mind, uh, then, you know, your mind and your brain work synonymously to change how it is that you see the world. And the thing is, is that the way that we see the world, all action, reaction, perception, everything is born and made inside your cranium, right? And so I, I often start in my talks, and I know you saw this, Julian, mm -hmm. uh, the quote from Walter Freeman that says, uh, all the brain can know, it knows from inside of itself. Mm -hmm. And at first that seems limiting until what you realize is that it's absolutely liberating. And the truth is, is that everything about your reality, your fate, what has been and what will be is decided upon inside your cranium. Now, not all of it under your conscious control. And when we think about our consciousness, we think about the mind, which we think is something at maximum worth about 5% of your bandwidth of processing power and at minimum something closer to 1%. Uh, and so that means that the vast majority of what's happening inside all that it can know about itself inside that cranium is happening at the subconscious level. And so we've got just this huge amount of processing power and bandwidth and potential to change our own brain and potential to change our attitude and our own psychology and our own mindset. Uh, we have this huge bandwidth to do so that I don't think most of us realize and I don't think most of us tap into on a regular basis. I've got big 